Good afternoon. Today we are going to do a roast aubergine. It's an easy, quick recipe to do with uh, uh, vegetables which often people don't use. So we've got some garlic, tomato, onion, thyme. You can have um, fresh herbs or dry herbs. Today I've got uh, uh, dry herbs, but you can use fresh if you want. Some cheese, parmesan. Today I use Comté and some uh, basil. So the first thing, we cut the aubergine in half and you're gonna shape it like a, a little diamond shape, like this. Quite deep, you don't have to, try not to cut the, <coughs> the skin. You do both like this, just like I've just done. And I take the garlic and I put them in the middle, like this. If you don't like garlic, obviously, don't use garlic, but that is going to roast. And it's really good when it's roasted. <coughs> I've used uh, about two cloves of garlic per half aubergines. Aubergine will suck quite a lot of olive oil, but don't worry, it will come back the taste at the end of the cooking. A little bit of salt, pepper. And I'm gonna put a little bit of herbs as well. So this is the dish ready to go, but just before I'm gonna add a little bit of onions. I'm putting aubergines in the oven at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. Really, what you want to see, it's a nice coloration. You'll see when you take it off of the oven. While the aubergines are cooking, I'm going to prepare the tomato topping for the ends. So. Then I slice the tomato in half. And I squeeze the juice and the pips out of the tomatoes. Now what I do, I take the tomato and I press it like this. And I turn it. So you end up with a little bit of a small cubes like this, okay? Obviously, you could ask yourself, why is it got any gloves? Well, it's because I'm cooking at home and this is not going to be given to a customer as it would be in our restaurant. So the gloves here, I don't use at home when cooking. So I'm going to do like little salsa, but just a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and I'm going to use some olive oil. Herbs. On top. So I'm going to put that aside and I will use it later on once my um, aubergines are almost cooked to finish it for the last five, ten minutes of cooking. We'll put that on top. So this is cooked, about 30 minutes. But obviously what we want to do now is to check if it's cooked. So, and you see the knife goes easily in. So it's cooked. If you want it to cook more, you can. It all depends on the size of the aubergine and how you like it soft or not. So I'm going now to put the tomato on top and put it back in the oven for another five minutes. And at the moment, we've got a vegetarian dish or even a vegan dish. 
and I put it here for another five to 10 minutes. It smells absolutely superb. What I'm gonna do now is just to put a little bit of a cheese on top. You could put your cheese before. I prefer to have it at the end myself. It will melt slowly and give all the taste. And to finish, fresh herb. In this case, it's a little bit of basil. And this is a dish you can have lunchtime, dinner time, as a vegetable, an accompaniment, or just as a main meal. Bon appétit! And thank you for watching. Goodbye.